Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have some great news for you today. Um, now, before I get started with my iMovie and Splice comparison, I want to let you guys know that uh, Apple has announced that iMovie and the iWork apps will be free on any future devices. Now, this includes any version of the iPad, uh, the iPhone 5C, and the iPhone 5S, and eventually the iPhone 5 6, and which will probably come all around a lot sooner than we think. Uh, so, uh, this will be a great asset for you guys because I know a lot of you guys uh, don't have any video editing apps. Uh, you know, $5 is a lot nowadays, even for a lot of people. Uh, so, I mean, iMovie is $4.99. A keynote is $9.99. A keynote, you're able to make awesome intros. It's kind of like a PowerPoint type of app, and uh, but it's great for making videos as well. So, um, Okay, so that's it. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, I, ha I have on order the iPhone 5S. Unfortunately, I'm using an Android right now. Uh, this is now just more or less my, my, my iPod, <laughs> which is my 4S. Uh, so um, let's go into reviewing Splice. I'll create a new project. In fact, let's just recreate that one. Okay, with a little bit of explanation. Vegeta. This is the title of my video. Now, it's not as powerful as iMovie, but it has gotten me out of several jams that iMovie couldn't. Now, I can't remember what the specific situations were, but they did help. Let's go into border. So this just lets you pick a border, and you see that buy more on the left-hand corner? Well, Splice is notorious for this. There's a lot of in-app purchases. But it comes with some stock stuff, so let's just go with a sketchy because Vegeta is sketchy. Orientation, of course, is... Uh, landscape, unless you guys like the portrait view, which not a lot of people do, and the transition is basically what happens in between each picture or video or video clipping. So uh, you say like the first picture was a Vegeta, and then the second picture will come in by by sliding to the left or shrinking or falling. So let's do slide left and done. Okay, once you're in here, you pick video or photo. And all my stuff's in the camera roll, so let's go all the way to the bottom. Okay, let's start off with him here. Okay, so there's my picture of Vegeta starting off. So what you want to do is click on the picture itself. This is going to be your new timeline, and it will all appear right here. Click on the little pen here, and you're able to crop and do the Ken Burns effect. If you want to do some cropping, just crop certain edges out. Where the Ken Burns effect is basically, where does your video start? and where does it end. So in this picture I want it to start on the M, emphasis on the M, in the eyes. And then when it ends, let's just get a full picture of everything. Let's crop out those black edges and done. And all, you can also increase the duration of the video of the clip. So this picture will either be here for 10 seconds or however long you put it here. Let's just do five for the sake of time. There. So you press done and there it is. So let's pick an audio. Okay. Now this will this will get you stuff directly from your iPod iPod library or the Spice li uh, Splice library. And the Splice library it has a lot of audio um, sound effects. This is why I like it. You you know you get to purchase stuff albums. Um, big big bang. Oh damn it. The big big bang and then click it. And check mark and it's done. So let's preview it. Press play. So it's pulling out. Okay. Let's go back to our project. Okay, so what you want to do is click on the picture and then add your next picture. Now of course you can add video. I don't have any video on my phone right now, so this is going to be the best. So it says, you know how it says video and photo right there. And title and transition and stuff. So let's just pick another photo. Get your camera roll and let's... Here we go. So now it should slide left because that's what we chose, right? So let's preview the, the, the video. That was pretty quick, huh? <laughs> now let's do something a little more obvious. Let's 
pick the transition. Uh, let's do a crossfade. Okay, let's preview it. So now it should it should basically look like a picture coming out of a picture as a crossfade. There we go. Now, of course, you can make it as long as a song or or not, and uh, that's basically it. Um, of course, uh, with this app, there is a lot of in-app purchases, so if you want to purchase some more stuff, um, go ahead and do so at the Splice Store right here. See? Splice Store. You can also send some feedback. Um, if you want to export that movie, just go back to your preview, and then you got everything fixed, and just export and you can do it in high resolution or medium resolution let's just do it like that and then it should do go by pretty quick depending on how long and uh, your high definition or standard definition and as soon as this finishes and it's now available in your camera roll so there so now you can go into your camera roll and pull it out let's see There we go. And there's the other one I made earlier. So now from here, you can plug it into your laptop and put it into pull it into your iMovie. So you can have a splice iMovie. That's kind of crazy, but yeah. Remember, uh, uh, a lot of these apps that I show you guys uh, are a lot cooler when you start combining all the effects from all the different apps and, you know, starts looking like a real movie. Alright guys, so let's review uh, the iMovie app. Uh, there's a lot of features on the iMovie app. It's not nearly as in-depth as the iMovie program is, but you can make a lot of cool things with this, including uh, trailers. Now, I won't go into making an entire trailer, because that's extremely time-consuming. And or uh, So what you can do is go into my videos and go look up app TWRRL, and that's a, a, a trailer that I made for one of the new apps that I, that I found in the App Store. Uh, so go check it out. It's app T W R R L, and um, it's a trailer that I made with iMovie. So let's review this. So when you click it here, it'll take you to this page. So what you want to do is either click on the plus sign, which is either here or here. Let's just click it here, and it'll ask you if you want to create a new project or a new trailer. So let's create a new trailer. Okay. So these are the different templates that 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 uh, come stock with the iMovie: uh, fairy tale, a narrative, a retro, a romance, a scary. So what these are are stock templates. So you click on it, and it'll play Mace Films. Uh, it's a title that I put in there, and all that is footage that you took. So. Uh, those those images are, are come with the iMovie so what you want to do is just fill in the blanks and, and uh, change the movie to your suiting or to your liking and the video time it's a extremely long time this is the one that I used for the app TWRRL okay so let's use this one so let's create it so you want to press create up on the right hand corner and then you'll have your storyboard your outline and your outline is like your credits like um, directed by, edited by, written by your actors and stuff like that. Okay. So what you want to do is go to your storyboard and you get all these uh, empty spaces. So what you want to do is fill in the blanks. So here it says group, a group shot. It just gives you an idea. You don't have to follow what they say, but it's 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 actually formatted to 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 look cool as in a group. So we don't have time to go look for a group shot, so we'll just fill in the blanks. Okay, so what you want to do is click on the empty spots, and then click on your videos. See, this is my videos. If you look up here, it's got the little film thing. If you want to add a photo, you click photos, or if you want to record in real time, uh, just click on that, and you can fill in the space like that. So uh, let's go back to my videos. So I'm going to click there. And you click that and it'll drop it in. Or also, if you want to play to see what you're putting in, just press that. And it'll show you what you're dropping in. So you drop that in. 
and Mace Films, and then you can change the title. Oh, oh wrong button. Storyboard, okay. Mm, no, not that one. Okay. We'll just title this Alien Vegeta. Vegeta. And then two of the most exclusive races in the world. Well, that kind of fits in, the Saiyan race, right? <laughs> okay. Well, click on the empty space again and uh, add something, some video. Let's add Superman just for the hell of it. And then this shot of an alien looking through the window. Those are a couple of photos. Uh, let's do some more of this UFO action here. And then some spider action. Drop that in. Um, okay, so let's let's see what it would look like. Okay, so you press done. And then you click full screen. And I'll start it from the beginning. See? So those are the, the, the blank shots that you, you're filling in. So that's how you make a trailer with iMovie. Okay, so let's go back. And let's create a project. Now this works much the same way as the trailer, um, but it's like you're actually starting to make your movie now. So you just, you know, you, you can choose as much of the video as you want now it won't be just like one or two or three seconds or 1.8 seconds now you can either drop the whole movie in there and it'll play as it should of course there's no sound to this to this one but that's what this looks like um, you can add music audio Here's some sound effects you know, audio to this. Hmm, so let's add some more footage. So let's say you're done and you're ready to record and upload. So uh, what you want to do is just press this back here. I'll take you back to your project. See, this is uh, our trailer, and this is our project. Um, you click down here, and it'll take you just like everything else to your camera roll, upload straight to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo. It's got all these stock places, I guess you can call them. Um, so, um, this really wasn't a review, but more of a comparison, just for those of you who've been debating on whether or not you should get either one of those apps. Um, now you know what they're like, and more or less what they can, what you can do with them. So, uh, either you can purchase them now, or wait till you get your new iDevice. And like I said, those are going to be free on anything new uh, that Apple makes. Uh, so, uh, hope you guys liked the video, and... Uh, Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks, guys. Peace out.